keeping it for Dan. Scratched at the start. Injured. Iska gave away two lengths. And Bulleting Home just dropped the bit for the time being. He's five lengths off. Bulleting Home. He was slower length and he's dropped the bit. He's now six lengths off. Bulleting Home. Mr. Roy's last. Letting them settle down, founding father to the 1200 meter marker, torpedoed out the machine, founding father at a good clip by two. Royal Armour, the white sheepskin nose band, gets up second, anime the mare, blue sleeves and cap, parked at the fence third, two lengths off. Sea urchins, three around, top form, cutting edge, Iska. The favourite bulleting home. He's at the fence. He's seven lengths off with Mr. Roy. 600 ago and no turning back for founding father. He splits the breeze by two. Royal Armour's in the striking position. Second, anime blue sleeves and cap. Sea urchin looms large cutting edge. Bulleting home's going to have to grow wings from their fallings to make up. Royal Armour moves up a big danger. Bulleting home's out the back door. And Sea Urchin's running a huge race on the stand side. Royal Armour head twisted and Sea Urchin now locks onto his target. And I say Sea Urchin goes on from Royal Armour who's going to fight back. Sea Urchin and Royal Armour. Sea Urchin by a neck. Royal Armour second. Iska, Mr. Roy. And Bulleting home was a big Beaten horse a long way out. Well, C. Urchin moved up to beat Royal Armour, and Royal Armour, head twisted, stays with him all the way down to the line and comes back for a head beating. It's going to be number 10, C. Urchin, the seven-year-old Fort Beluga, for the Mudleys, the Pullers, the Moseses, Pillays, and the Stills. Royal Armour runs a cracker in second. Iska out the pack third. Mr. Roy, and as for bulleting home, as the gates opened, he just spat out the dummy. The bit was loose, and he was not responding, so he just re didn't respond early bulleting home, and he just dropped the bit early on. There you'll see Anton asking for maximum, bulleting home, not really finding much. But the action's on the right, Royal Armour's running around, and Sea Urchin, they locked horns in battle over the last 100 metres, and as they come down to the post, you'll see they get very close together, Sea Urchin and Royal armor and perhaps just hold on to your tickets there you'll see sea urchin running around and royal armor back to the studio sea urchin we've just listened in the background and it looks like an objection's been lodged but let's give sheldon might just probably give us the news Garth, if you keep the race, well done. I, I, I wasn't studying the finish. Maybe you might have seen more. No, I saw nothing. I mean, he come through. He come through from behind the horse. He, he rode him all the way to the line. He went. Uh, no, he won a nice race. He, yeah. I think he held him off quite well. Um, yeah, thanks to everybody, Yudi, Dyer, um, to Pops and his family. Uh, I mustn't forget Kathy. Um, yeah, it was a it was a nice win. And um, thanks to Hollywood for the sponsorship. And I think he's. Uh, I mean, he's a seven year old and he's brave. He, he does his best. He ran a good race last time. And uh, I think he won a brave race. I believe Sheldon's got the details for us. Please note, an objection has been lodged by the rider of the second place horse. So note that Mark Kahn, the rider of the second place horse, against the winner Sea Urchins, interference in the latter stages. So very important, it is the rider of the second place horse, Mark Kahn, who's lodged the objection against the winner Sea Urchin, interference in the closing stages. I believe Mark Cohn's lodged the objection, uh, so just that's what the, the, the announcement was. He's the rider or the runner-up. But uh, getting back to this, it, it, it was a good gutsy win because uh, Kanya couldn't get in. Yeah, he couldn't get in. He raced three deep. He, he came on the outside. Mark moved out on top of him. It was tight for him on the outside, but uh, um, he, he fought his way through, and I think he won a nice race. So uh, you know, in my opinion, I don't think he can lose it. Well done, Goth. Thank you very much. Who are we talking to, Goth? There's no riding. With you. Pops, come and have a chat, Pops. Hi. How are you doing? Good, lovely. Thanks, Paul. Well done. Good win. Ah, we're excited. Very good. We, I mean, it's nice to see a seven-year-old come and win like that. And mm. uh, excited. I just want to say well done to Garth and his team back home. It's a fantastic job on him. I mean, he's been paying the bills for us. Thanks to my partners, Daya and the team. And it's awesome when you got a team lad and you bring home a winner. Well done, Pops. And well done to Sakai for his awesome ride. 
Lovely. Well, they probably have Sakai in uh, for the inquiry, or but the objection has been lodged, and uh, without preempting anything, we'll wait for the uh, boardroom to tell us the result.